It's bright and early on a Saturday morning. We are headed to the Nashville Card Show, the small every other week show that's about five to 10 minutes from my house. Great little small show that I can pop into, pop out of, and in less than a day essentially, and get a lot of deals done. But today I'm approaching it a little bit differently because next week is Dallas and it's only a few days away. And so I don't like to go in and try to buy a bunch of bulk. I like to look for specific cards that I know will sell instantly at Dallas, like honestly Thursday during dealer setup, because I don't like the idea of losing cash right before a big show like that. So we're headed to the show. Let's see what sort of big deals we can get done today. All right, guys, we are with Joe and his daughter, KK. They drive a hard bargain, knocked out some nice, easy stuff. Burrow to 99, Josh Allen Auto, Jordan Love. Appreciate the deal with Joe and his daughter, KK. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Appreciate you. At the Nashville show, just picked up this sick, flawless LT to 20 with my guy, Alec. Of course. Thank you, brother. Always. Easy deals. I'm back at my table because it kind of slowed down. Just wanted to show you guys some of the pickups. Uh, shout out to my buddy, Jaron. I'll put his shop info up on the screen here while I do this. But sneaker swatch, Najee Harris 101, nice one there. And then that rookie helmet, Najee Harris as well. Two little one-on-one -on -one deal with my buddy, Jaron. The next one was an easy one with my buddy, Briley. Been doing deals with him for a while downtown rookie Daddy Dimes bought this single card off of a guy but took a minute nice easy one as well Lamar Jackson to three laundry tag two of the 75 in case uh, shout out to my buddy Tubbs we did a nice quick deal on some easy cards Paul Pierce auto which I don't even think this was him I think it was somebody else LeBron tops DGS 9 uh, Justin Herbert, Star Signs, Rookie Auto, and then Brock Purdy to 49, Donner's Clearly Auto, and then probably the best card in there, the Dirt Patch Auto to 49. And then the last deal that I just did with a guy that I've been doing a lot of deals with, he invests in Kentucky players, so there's some, I've done some crazy Kentucky card deals with this guy, but basically everything is Jamal Murray except for one card. Jamal Murray Select Blue Prism number to something I don't even remember. Jamal Aficionado. Uh, Jamal Select to $2.99 Auto. Jamal Revolution Auto. And then the big Jamal. This one's crazy. I bought the to 99 True off of this guy and now I just bought Jamal's Gold NT. Big, 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 big card. Gold NT to 10 and then also did another big one with him. Was hesitant on buying this from him, but you don't see his NT stuff because a lot of the patches got faked. And I'll put up this link to this website where it will actually show you if the patches have been altered or not because they've been logged. But this one is number seven of 199 NT, Anthony Davis, PSA 9, Western Conference Finals, which is crazy. So had to pick up some of these guys moving on to the conference games that are playing in Dallas next week. Alrighty guys, we just wrapped up at the Nashville Card Show. Got one more deal done at the end of the day with Josh and Ashley. Let's show the big pickups. Justin Jefferson, 225, tie-dye RPA. A Kenneth Walker, one of one Origins Auto. Nice, pretty one there. Raw Burrow Silver. I always like to buy stuff like this. Nice, easy ones. Purdy Green Scope. A pretty cool one here for Seahawks fan. Russell Wilson and Richard Sherman to eight. Uh, I love cheap football stuff like this. I say this all the time. Sam Howell, RPA to 99, probably the most liquid stuff that there is. To 25, Justin Jefferson, Phoenix RPA. A cheap, cheap little $50 one-of-one, -on -one, which I'll buy a one-of-one -on -one all day for 50 bucks. And DeAndre Hopkins, this was cheap too in comparison. 447, strange number. Uh, downtown, Stafford, and some other cheap football, but we wrapped up at the show. It was a nice, good show. It's in this building back here. Didn't film a ton of B-roll because I got a little wrapped up into the deals as always. It's easier for me to film stuff when I'm sitting at a table and just let it roll and then chop it up. But Dallas is this coming week. 
going to have a ton of videos coming out of that. We've obviously got the vlog going now outside of the dealer's perspective stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see more. My goal with the vlog is just to show you guys more of the life of my stuff at these shows. And I didn't get to do it in this show as much as I'd like, but I definitely will in Dallas. So I'll see you guys soon.